Oh, yeah, random shit like that, I'm sure, yeah, you do get weird games, yeah. Ah, sweet. What are you doing? Let's go inside! Surprised to see anyone here today. Want to try out some weapons? At the training grounds, you can try out You're different weapons. weapons right? Let's see which Let one me you teach like you. best. Well, I'm sure you already know. You can equip up to two weapons. Try out different weapons and find a weapon that you like. Oh, look, look at that. Town. You can't touch me in the back. I like it, yeah. Do more. We're going to Moonshade Town. Can you open the gate? You'll never... Sure, Lottie. You'll have a good view of Whispering on the way, too. I guess it's like a tutorial. The buzzes with excitement and energy. During such an event, you and Lottie left Whisperian's fortress to visit Moonshade Town. On my way to Moonshade. Yeah, what's going on here? Let's go and check it out. I'll go over first. Follow me with your piton and grappling hook. The watchtower was destroyed by an attack. Although the path was mm. not locked, you and Lottie made use of the piton and your grappling hooks to continue onward. It looks like the cart was destroyed by artillery. I've never seen... Okay. Oh no. I see a lot of black mitrans. Let's take care of them quickly. Thank you to Moon Shade Town. What's the movement's here? Look for an opening for a counter attack. <laughs> it's a bit easy. Is 
Kind of reminds me of Fable, but online. The polylift is broke. We can't get to Asperian with this. This lift would let us cross Vesperian to get to Moonshade Town. It's the only way to get there without a boat. This is bad. Callum shakes it on my face. Maybe he has an take idea. a big sniff. I love it. Try to find a way. Mm. You go ahead and take care of the injured. But let's kind of beat me off on the floor. Well, Whoa. The will have it fixed in no time. Shall we get started? <laughs> I mean, anyway, speed's just gone really fucking fast. Oh, oh, no. No. You defeated the Black Mitrans that appeared on your way to Vesperian. While Vesperian was still intact, a broken pulley lift prevented you from reaching Moonshade Town. Suddenly, a mysterious being bathed in light appeared and led you to the top of the great tree. Oh my god. Three phases. Sometimes my head feels fucked up. Sometimes it doesn't. It's a weird one. Depends on the bud as well. I think this stuff's good, but it's just I've been smoking some stuff that would, if people were most if most people were smoking it like I am, they'd probably end up in a mental hospital. But I'm just used to it. <clears throat> But even I thought I was fucking going a bit nuts. <laughs> so I can't imagine what if if someone smoked as much as I did. Like, like it feels like my brain's fucked. No. No. Oh, I see. You escaped with me. I'm 
glad to see you're safe. But now's hardly the time to chat. Perception of time goes warped as well. Thank you. Captain Kyra and I will fight the Archean forces on this side and find a way to get in. We'll need you to go into town and rescue the residents with the resistance. <laughs> I understand all this. Yeah, I wanted to bow out. Oh, unless it's... Oh, yeah. No moves. Oh, okay. Yeah. So can I do that whilst not having a bow? Yeah. Does remind me a lot of World of Warcraft, I'd say. Thirty two. Yeah. Thirty six. Yeah. Oh, fair. How old's your mum? Ooh, big boss. Oh, fucking hell. Fair, fair. Shows how old I am, bro. <laughs> getting older. <laughs> We're all getting older. <laughs> We're all getting older. Madness, bro. Strange to me here, and that I'm like the same age as someone that I play games with parents. You know what I mean? But I still feel like young, but yeah, uh, obviously, yeah. I know I'm getting older. But yeah, yeah. Not, uh, not young anymore, mate. We're, we're still young, actually. No, we're still young. Probably, yeah, yeah. I'll be about 20, well, 17 years older than you, so when, when you're 30, I'll be 47. It's a Bournemouth way. Your family know that way. 
Nah, Wales is well far, like, away. It's about 120. It's closer to Southampton, if you know that. It's closer, but I'd say London's just as close as uh, Wales. It's about 120 miles. I think Southampton's quite close. It's a lot closer than London or anything like that. Uh, nah, 120 miles out, so a long way. Closer, yeah. I'm not sure how far away it is. I'm from Bournemouth, like Dorset. Like, that's the county. Yeah, look up Dorset, like Bournemouth. B O U R E. It's a weird one. E-M-O-U-T-H I don't know how you spell that It's in the south though, isn't it? On the map, like, on the coast Yeah Quite near Swanage. Type in Swanage. Type in Swanage. S W A N A G E. Or pool. You could put, literally put in pool. P O O L E. Should pop up. Yeah, P O O L E. I think it's pool. Let me just double check. Yeah, pool. Or Upton. I know Upton, you got Upton in London as well. Um, Paul, P double O L E. Yeah, it should be South Coast, like, it should be right on the coast, right next to Bournemouth. Put Dorset, D O R S E T, and then that, and then just put pool next to it, or like Bournemouth. I don't know, it'll definitely show up, because I don't know if it's going to show up different, because you've probably got like Upton Road in fucking London, or like a street called Upton in London, and it's going to come up with some weird shit. I don't know. Hey, hey, wake up! That's strange. Just give me a fucking postcode if you want. <laughs> BH fifteen two DW, put that in on the map. Hey, are you awake? Do you recognize Put BH fifteen. Oh nice. You wait here. Of what? Call the healer now. Uh kind of like south but central, I'd say. Cause Devon's to our left, I think, I'm pretty sure. Uh. The child who lost everything here ten years ago now challenges the might of the Arcane Legion. Starborn bravery and determination forged in celestial fire. <laughs> I can't find my phone or so I'd literally put it in. Uh. I have no idea where my Type in... It's far south, man. Put, type in Swanage, alright? It's gonna come up, 100%. S-W... A-N-A-G-E. Should spell out Swanage if I ever spell it wrong. But Swanage is, like, a little bit away from me. Like, it's not far. It's like a town that's very popular, though. So it should just pop up because of its popularity. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we're quite far. <laughs> I'm in the town, but about I could cycle for ten minutes and be in the country. Do you know what I mean? So it's. So 
It's a nice area though, man. You should come down on holiday. A little family holiday. Yeah, you got shit areas where I live, man. Like, where I live particularly is probably one of the shit uh, areas. Yeah, it's getting like that around here as well, mate. Everyone's... <laughs> yeah, it seems to like start things like that. I don't know why it seems to start. Yeah, it seems to be quite a popular thing to happen, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, it's partly like. Um... To be honest, though, it is partly because, like, people. It is part, I know I'm getting older, right? But it's partly because of the music that people are listening to, and I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> nah, it's because music now, like, 10. If people. Say, like, 10 years ago, yeah? If if people if people heard music from today that's popular like drill music yeah ten years ago or fifteen years ago they would have been like what the fuck is that shit do you know what I mean it's like uh, the mentality like they would have laughed at it, do you know what I mean they would have seen it as a joke like I kind of do when I hear it if you know what I mean like everybody would have heard it like that but now people have like got the mentalities where they actually like feed into it that's the problem with it people actually feed into it instead of like seeing it as like what it should like be which is just fucking people oh mate yeah if there's some island like right and like almost like off like well off the coast do you know what i mean the tiny little thing and it's literally um it's literally just a lighthouse like in water <laughs> But miles out, and this guy lives on it. I was like, fucking hell, that's the dream, mate. <laughs> I think it's up in Scotland, but it's quite far out. But it's because there's like loads of rocks out there, and they had to like build a lighthouse because boats kept on smashing into it. Miss you already. <laughs> Shit, what did I just press? Follow you again then. Are you in any condition to move? No. I'm on my way with the healer. What's happened? Do you have any okay, idea? Okay, can I me in the bomb and then you? Oh. This rap music's too much for me, mate. Right? I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Just listen to a bit of. Opera. I thought something happened to you. I wonder if we can join each other straight away because it's boring me. So hurry up and go see him. If the pulley wasn't broken, I would have kicked way more arse. I heard someone took down that giant orc alone. That's crazy. Seriously? Nobody else could put a dent in that beast. That's pretty cool. A giant animal in the ocean. Man. You did good. Oh, you're finally awake. Come this way. Not have... Thanks to Damn. your defeat of King Vert, 
We were able to fight off the Archeon. The portal in the sky has closed as well. I don't remember what happened. Killed by King Vert when your star fragment went into a frenzy and overwhelmed the enemy. If you hadn't been able to defeat him, none of us would have survived. I'm thankful the Elder protected you ten years ago, so that today we could stand together to defend Wisp Island. Speaking of which, I'm sure you feel guilty over what happened to the Elder. You didn't cause his death. You should know that. Please, don't blame yourself. That said, are you alright? Your power, it's clearly too dangerous to leave as is. When a Star Fragment's power overloads like that, it takes a heavy toll on the bearer's body. It could even kill you. Carrying such a powerful Star Fragment makes you a target for the Archeum too. A decade ago, Kazar and Kalanthia invaded this island precisely to steal that power for themselves. That power is unpredictable when it's in a frenzy. It will hurt innocent bystanders who get too close. I have a friend named Martine in Castleton, a town in Lassland. She's researching the effects of star fragments. I believe she can help you. Here, take my token. Show this to the storage manager named Melky, and he will help you. When you are ready to leave, touch Luna Zero's head to temporarily enhance your glide ability. That should get you all the way to Castleton. Hm. I wish you all the best. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, I just said for me to do something. Place your hand on the head of Luna. Oh my god, these graphics are terrible. It's like fucking 240p. Uh -oh. Five FPS. <laughs> Big boss battles look fun. Uh. Uh. Finally, finally done the tutorial and opened the massive open world. Yeah, about half an hour, just over. Yeah, the open world looks cool though. Like, I don't know, it's completely like it is in the advert, but if it is, it's crazy. Yeah, shit. The download rate on my PC at the minute is going really high, so I'm gonna fucking. Probably look at some servers on Armour Reef and free as well. I call that kind of slipping. You get me? Okay, I get the idea. It's a big open world. But, uh... Throne and Liberty. Thanks to the Star Fragment's power, the island is safe for now. Happy 